guys, what's up? So I wanted to film a video because I got some beauty stuff for autumn. I shopped in Lush for the first time actually. Uh, so many girls are posting videos about products from Lush and I really wanted to try them because I always walk by that shop and it smells absolutely just so good, oh my god. I also went to the drugstore, like boots, it's not actual shoes and I bought some essentials that I really needed. I actually have some exciting news guys. I just partnered up with a YouTube network called Viso and they're part of Broadband TV. I think it's like the fourth biggest network on YouTube or something like that which is deadly and um, if you partner with a network they basically they take a cut of your revenue, anything you're earning off having ads on your videos and um, which <laughs> let's be honest I haven't really earned anything yet because I'm only new. I've only been doing this for like two months. They promote um, your channel and they try and get more viewers and get more subscribers and things so yay um but yeah I, I don't know I wanted to take this kind of chance to thank all of you all of you so much for all your comments I get so many comments and emails and messages on Facebook and stuff from you guys and I love reading them so much I really appreciate every time I log on and I go to the comment section of my videos and I scroll down and it's like you know I'm starting to recognize certain names popping up again and again and I think it's deadly. And a few of you have mentioned me in your videos. Please don't go anywhere. I have so many videos planned for this channel. And you know, even if I do, even if I don't get loads of more subscribers, but if I do, I'll always remember you guys. What do you think of this bow, by the way? I got it in, I think it was like New Look or something. And I have a confession to make actually about this jumper. <laughs> it's, um, I bought it in the kids section in New Look and I didn't even realize until we were like up at the till. And it said like age 13 to something on it but if it's it is getting kind of colder here and um, I live in Ireland as you know if you can't tell by my bloody accent but this is my favorite time of year it's so cozy I love sitting in autumn winter I could just I wish all year long was like autumn and winter just everything about it I love the dark and the cold and when you're inside wrapped up in a blanket candle on with a book and a movie and a book and a movie at the same time I'm not that good at multitasking to the haul. First I'll show you what I got in the drugstore because I kind of needed to pick up a few little bits. I finally picked up. <laughs> I'm so late on every single bandwagon. It's ridiculous. But yeah, I finally got the Maybelline Baby Lips, which is a really hydrating lip balm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah. I like it. Like it's just, I got it because, you know, I'm obsessed with that Oriflame balm thing I got. I've mentioned it in loads of videos and I do have like 50 different lip balms you need them like I've got big stupid lips so you kind of have to keep them hydrated all the time it reminds me a lot of the Nivea stick I used to always have that in school when I used to go to secondary school I wanted to have something like this for when I go back to university I'm currently like stocking my university bag and I'll do I'll probably do a university what's in my bag video I'm currently stocking that with like all the little things that you need and I thought this would be easier than the Oriflame one because the Oriflame one you have to open it and and I don't I don't want to waste it <laughs> it's like I'm coming up with all these different excuses but yeah it's that's my favorite one ever and I just I don't want it to run out and it's pretty much I only have like a third of it left I picked up the dream touch blush 06 berry and this is a really lovely autumn shade it's the Maybelline one and I love these little pots of blush I got one a couple of years ago and I'd, I'd totally forgotten about them because I got all into my powder blushes and stuff but yeah this is just lovely like it it's so easy and quick to do as well because do you know when you're going into college or school and you just I don't know, I much prefer to have an extra 40 minutes in bed than get up and like, you know? Yeah, this you literally just put your finger in, smile and get to apple of your cheek and rub it in. And it's a lovely, lovely, lovely autumn colour. It really, really suits this season, this time of year. Beautiful. Get one of those guys! Next, I picked up the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation and, okay, I got this in, I think I got this in the wrong colour. Um, I'm wearing it now and please tell me honestly, it won't insult me, just tell me if this is too dark because I think it is personally. Um, but then some people always tell me I'm too pale and they're like, oh, just wear a darker foundation. But I don't know, like, I think this will be perfect if I mix it with my, um, what's it called? Um, you know, the Perfect Match one, the L'Oreal Perfect Match. Um, I've got that in the most perfect color, but it is so pale. It's excruciating. It does make my skin look very porcelain, but at the same time, when you've got such dark hair, oh, I don't know. So yeah, I'll probably just mix these two together. And this is in a classic ivory. Classic ivory. I'm not making fun of Americans, I swear. 
I love the coverage of this. It's so good. I didn't think it would be a high coverage foundation, but it really sinks in and it just, it looks beautiful. Um, I know it's too dark, but it does look really nice. It has a really flawless coverage and not streaky. It doesn't settle into like the little creases around here or here or here or all oh, stays all day. And I needed a new eyeliner. This is just, has been tried and tested and tried and tested. I've been buying it for so many years, except for this year because I don't know, I was like, oh, it's too cheap, there must be better ones, so, you know, I was trying out loads of different ones. This is still the best one, in my opinion. Rimmel London, the Soft Coal Eyeliner, and I this is always going to be my favourite black eyeliner because, I don't it's just so easy to use. And do any of you guys do that where, to put it on, like, and my sister always gets really freaked out when I do this, but I just kind of close my eyes and run it along like that. Hello. Oh. At the exact same time, you can line your top lashes and your bottom lashes. It's amazing. Because I don't like touching my eyeball. I hate pulling it back and then you can see all the goopy ball of eye under it. I really want to get to the Lush stuff because, okay, my skincare routine. I know I haven't done a skincare routine video yet and I promised a lot of you I would when I did my How to Get Clear Skin video. And I promise I will do one, but I just, right, I've been messing around and faffing about my skincare so bad. Like, I... I don't know, I keep getting sucked into trying out different products and then I just got out of the routine I was in. I had like a really strict, specific routine, which is what you need. You really need to do that if you've got problem skin. You have to stick to the same, you know, if when you find something that works for you, just stick to it. I've actually forgotten what was the combination of things I was using and now, like well, up until yesterday, I was just kind of getting whatever crap I had in my room and using different washers, different face washes, different moisturizers, different anti-wrinkle creams, different whatever, and mixing them and matching them, and something I was using had started to just react badly. And I, ever since discovering coconut oil to take off my makeup, it's amazing. Just watch my coconut oil video. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it below. That has done wonders, and it's just, it's so much better than other um, makeup removers. Actually last night I kind of got stuck because I forgot to bring my coconut oil to my boyfriend's house and I used, he had like baby oil. Wah, 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 wah. I've been feeling fine lately. Not for that reason I swear. Um, I'm doing eyebrows. Can you, I can't raise an eyebrow like look. <laughs> okay. Is this eyebrow up? Yeah, he had baby oil and I used, I saw girls doing that on YouTube before, like using baby oil to remove your makeup and I tried that last night. It did work pretty damn good, but I still prefer coconut oil. Yeah. I wanted to develop a more natural skincare routine. So that's where Lush comes in. Lush is, oh my God, just an amazing store. I'm sure you know that already. Um, as the bag says, fighting animal testing against animal testing, just like Ari Flame, which I'm really glad about when you purchase something like they have these free booklets in the store and it tells you what everything can be used for like everything they have they've got such class bath bombs shampoos body lotions face washes face masks and it's all handmade stuff but well, actually before i go on to the skincare i'll just show you um, i got the sea spray hair mist this stuff smells just beautiful my god it's like it smells like a combination of bubble gum and aromatherapy oils and since I started wearing this, I haven't, yesterday, <laughs> I feel like I don't need to wear a perfume because I've got this on. My hair just smells beautiful. And you basically spray it a couple of times like this in your hand. This is what the guy told me anyway. The guy in the store was so nice. Like, I think everyone in Lush, it's like, it's like a less creepy version of the Disney shop. Do you ever go into the Disney shop and they're all like, hi, would you like to buy a doll? They're just so overly friendly, but not, not Lush in the Disney shop. But he was really helpful and... Um, yeah, it was in the Grafton Street store. If you're watching, thank you, you were awesome. Turn your head upside down, rub this into your roots and it kind of gives your hair like volume and lift. And that's really hard to get with my hair because it's so thick and so heavy and long so that it's, it just pulls it down from the root. That's why it's much more easy to get volume in your hair when you've got shorter hair. But yeah, this stuff is great. I really like it so far. Two samples, Fair Trade Honey Shampoo and It's Raining Men. Smell gross, I'm not gonna buy them. Sorry. But yeah, for the skincare that I actually got. Okay, I am gonna stick to this religiously until these are gone and I will tell you if it makes a good difference to my skin, a bad difference to my skin, if it wasn't as good as the ones I was using, 
blah 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 blah. I'll definitely do a follow-up video on these because I have a great feeling about them so far. I used them last night and this morning and oh my god my face was so soft. The facial cleanser I got was the Angels on Bare Skin and apparently this is a worldwide best-selling cleanser and it it just looks really weird. Like I wasn't looking forward too much to putting that on my face. Ground almonds, glycerin, kaolin, water, lavender oil. Actually the lavender is what makes it smell amazing. I love lavender oil so much. I used to um I used to suffer from anxiety disorder. Actually I've I've been diagnosed with generalized anxiety disorder. Don't suffer from it anymore. I used to um I found lavender oil was one of the things that just calmed me down and I have such a great association with that smell so it's lovely. There's lots of natural products in there and what you do is you take a pea sized amount of this, you put it in your hand, add some water, rub it in and it kind of turns to like a milky consistency and you would rub that into your skin you know as you would use a normal cleansing foaming wash or whatever and yeah it just it smells gorgeous and it says that it evens out skin tone reduces redness and improves the health and appearance of your skin giving a natural healthy glow so yeah this has five star reviews all over the shop and then i got skin drink facial moisturizer which it says if your skin could reach out and grab a drink this would be the one it would go for a rich sesame oil cream designed to leave a subtle protective layer on the face without feeling greasy and that's what I need. It doesn't really smell of anything particularly nice. When you put it on your face, it doesn't smell bad. It's kind of like, um, do you ever try that brand Aveeno or certain things from the body shop it reminded me of, um, very natural. So you can't really expect it to smell too perfumed. So my skincare routine from now until they're gone is going to be coconut oil for removing my makeup, that for washing, that moisturizer and then twice a week I'm still gonna use my St. Ives apricot scrub for the blemish prone skin because it has a little bit of salicylic acid, salicystic, salicylic, I can never say that word, you know I can't, salicylic acid, whatever way it's pronounced, I'm gonna keep using that because ever since I introduced the St. Ives to my skin keratin, it's been better, it's just been a mile better and maybe that is just because of the exfoliation, I don't know, but I love the smell, I love it, it's one of my favorite skincare products always has been since I got it so I'm not going to get rid of it and I'll still be using the Effaclar duo which um I'll link you to a video by a model recommends she's a really great channel she's a model and she does a beauty channel here on YouTube and she explains a little bit more about that product but I'll link that below because I'm waffling <laughs> I don't want to keep you here anymore so that is going to be my future skincare routine if you're interested in you know joining along with me and using more natural things. So I did try them out already, but I don't really like watching hauls where the people haven't actually used the things yet because then like three or four videos later, they're like, yeah, do you remember that thing I bought? It was crap. Leave a comment and tell me who you are. Tell me if you've tried any of these things before. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Ooh.